Hi guys, it's Colin Cronin here and today we're going to be doing a top 12 cassette video countdown. It's in no particular order, it's just a countdown and it's a countdown of our favourite cassettes that's on our wall, our music collection. So if we leave any out, drop in the comments, like, subscribe, comment away. Also, if you guys have any good ideas of a live album or just a studio album or compilation album or greatest hits album, drop the name of them in the comments below for us so we can put together a bootleg or you know pick one up along the way and we'll reply back to you cheers like subscribe and comment away thanks so yeah so just before we do this video i'll give you a quick look at the wall the cassette wall there's a few taken out because they're here and they're the ones we're going through. So there's the cassette wall. Some more over there. Another lot there. Has to be filled. Yeah. So yeah, so here we go. This one is Neil Young and it's unplugged. And this was I think this was the nineties, he did this. And it's got some good good uh good track, good set lists trackless because it's got needle and the damage done it's got unknown legend the harmonic is good the, the instruments are good he's good in it his voice is good it's probably better than a couple of his other live gigs but we're just picking this one today for a couple of the songs like them ones that we just mentioned there now and it's good it's very good actually check it out if you haven't listened to it it's brilliant on cassette as well yeah, the sound quality's great. Yeah, so and the, the cover is brilliant as well. That's a good cover of Neil's Neil's uh, head there and the sunglasses and the harmonica. Yeah, that's a cool one to have. Yeah, and uh, we're going to try to get through this quick enough as well. By the way, so next one is Oasis Live at Main Road. I think it's ninety six. Yeah, and this is when the Gallagher brothers were together as the group Oasis, and they were with the rest of them. Bonehead, Quigsy, Paul White, I think. Is that his name? No. <laughs> no, Alan White. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a good one. And uh, the opening to this gig was brilliant. I think it was the Swamp Song that led into Aqueous. So, yeah, that was that was a good opening. And the rest of the, the, rest of the set list or track list was brilliant. I remember the Morning Glory on this particular live gig is brilliant. Liam Liam's vocals are brilliant on the on the day or yeah, on the day it's brilliant like his vocals for Morning Glory is brilliant. It's one of my favourite songs in this album. Mm. So yeah, that's a good one to have. And uh next one then is Ozzy Osbourne, Di Diary of a Madman. And look it's signed it's a signed copy. Of a uh, of the diary of a madman, and the cassette farmer is brilliant. The album's brilliant. Some great songs on it. Yeah, on this guy. That's brilliant. Like great one to have. Check this out. Check this one out as well. Yeah. There's lots of stories about Ozzy Osbourne. We all know that. So yeah, that's a good one to have. And uh, the next one is a. Uh, Michael Jackson, bad. One of the girls will kill me if I don't mention Michael Jackson. One of the girls I know. And uh, so, yeah, Michael Jackson, bad. It's probably better than his thriller one, I think, because it's got this album in particular has more, most, the most his, hits, hit singles from any album. And, and, um, yeah, it's got Dirty Diana, it's got Smoke Criminal. It's got the way you make me feel. It's got all them ones, and they're all brilliant, and they're also my favorite ones. Thriller has beat it, which I love, and it's got Thriller, obviously, and it's got a couple ones up, but this this has buckets. This one, that's why we're picking this one, and it's great. This album's great, and it just it brings me back to when I was you know when I was a kid, like hanging around my my the rest of my family and stuff, you know. 
this this tape, especially like the tape, the cassette tape. Good, like it's brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. And uh the next one in is M and M Marshall Matters LP. I love the cover on this because uh it you can see him sitting on the sidewalk with his whatever it is, it's a blanket or something, and it's just it tells a lot about the about him and how he became, you know, Slim Shady or Eminem like and and went from, you know, Marshall Mars to to his his fame or whatever, like he 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 can he went from being poor to to a big star, like that's that's a great cover I think. And and the the track list on this album is brilliant, I think. Some of my favourites is, you know, Stan is on it, I think. And that's a brilliant, brilliant song. I think the the way I am is on it. I could be wrong now, comment, but check it out. It's a great one to have. And it's great in cassette form as well. It's brilliant, it looks great. Yeah. And uh and the next one then is uh is Rory Gallagher live at the Cork Opera House nineteen eighty seven. And that's a great one to have. That was the year I was born. Yeah, eighty seven, what a year to be to be, you know, be around, you know. And I've been to the Cork Opera House loads of times for gigs and shows and it's a great venue, great sound in there and yeah, Rory I was down I saw Rory's guitar in the Cork Library just the other day and it was brilliant. Great uh, great display in there, great music, um, you know, display in there and yeah, it's great. Rory Gallagher live in the Cork Op House lad. See ya, it's brilliant. Great, great song quality as mentioned on the on these tapes like and and the set list is brilliant on this one. He sounds great, Rory does. His guitar playing his song is brilliant on it. Yeah. And uh and the next one is actually one of our own ones, the future Cork local band, Songs in the Garage. This is on tape now, and you can buy this on in CD form at Tower Records Dublin, or you can get it online, towerrecords.ie. And, uh, and it's best value, great prices, guaranteed next day delivery. Um, join the join the clang whatever like you know and you know and get get your copy support everyone's favorite local band that's future cork local band songs in the garage and it's great some great uh tracks on the live album we love the we love the um artwork the photography was brilliant on this one look see it's brilliant the tape form is brilliant i think this one of the only tapes out there because it was a it was a live tape recorded of the the live set that's brilliant like still in great great shape so yeah that's that one and the next one is liam gallagher belfast 2017 at the ssc arena i was at this with a friend or you know with someone i know sorry and we had a great great buzz at it like there was loads going on there was drinking there was families up there there was young people there was all sorts going on and people getting thrown out people you know arson about and crazy night we had to get two trains up to belfast from cork and you know it was brilliant yeah and this liam did some oasis stuff and he did his new stuff and it was brilliant you know Great and great goings on there, like and and it's great in cassette form too. It's a bootleg, as you can see. It's a bootleg now that I made myself. So yeah, it's a great one to have. That was Liam Gallagher at the SSC Arena in Belfast. The next one is Garrett Brooks, and that's uh, Roping in the Wind. Two of my favourite tracks on that is Papa Love Mama and Rodeo. And we had this on tape years ago, probably 30 years ago, and we had it on CD too, but they, whatever, they got lost and or they got thrown out or 
given away and I bought this recently because I, I love the cover, it's brilliant, Garth Brooks looks cool in the cover, the, so the songs on it are brilliant, them two songs I mentioned there in particular wrote our Papa Love Mama and Rodeo are my probably my favourite Garth Brooks songs, yeah, and they're brilliant and it sounds great on tape and yeah, it's brilliant, brilliant cassette to have, you know, brilliant one to have in your wad, yeah, so yeah. And the next one then is actually a, a soundtrack, it's The Last Boys, this is a great, one of the better soundtracks out there. You know, it's got Cry Little Sister, it's got Jim Morrison, it's got, I couldn't go through the whole track or soundtrack now, but it's got great soundtracks on it. The movie's brilliant obviously, you know, um, Michael, yeah, do you ever play that drinking game? Michael, you know, whenever he mentions Michael, the name Michael in the film, you take a drink, yeah, <laughs> yeah, someone played that game me recently and Jesus I didn't last too long <laughs> yeah so yeah uh, that was a great this is a great one to have like you know the last spies I love putting this on you know one, some of the nights you know when I'm, when I'm alone or even with someone and it's just it's got brilliant brilliant hits like brilliant songs on it the last spies check it out definitely and the next one then is a uh, ACDC Highway to Hell and I, I got into ACDC about over 20 years ago properly when when they, they had a promo song which was Highway to Hell sorry they, they had a song for a promo for WWF which was Highway to Hell Super Slam Highway to Hell and and it was Steve Austin versus The Undertaker Highway to Hell 98 and that was the song they used for the promo package and I've been into ACDC since because they're brilliant and yeah that was the, the song they used for it so yeah um, that's, that's a brilliant brilliant track or album to have like and it's great in the cassette form oh and it's signed see it's signed there brilliant brilliant stuff going on there yeah that's ACDC Highway to Hell and this the last one then getting to the end this is Nirvana, Sir Henry's. It was between this and Nirvana Unplugged, but I, I said I picked this because it's in Cork. It's Sir Henry's. This was just be before they kind of broke out and became big and, you know, made it made a big time. Nirvana did. And this was in Sir Henry's, which I used to go to about 20, 20 or so years ago. With the lads like and we went there you know for whatever like a junior or something or whatever when we, were young, when we were younger like and they played in there Nirvana, Kurt Cobain and Dave Grohl and the rest from like and uh and yeah this is this one great track list um brilliant goings on and uh the cover is actually pretty cool yeah the cover I put together myself I made that the J Air yeah brilliant and uh, yeah, great bit of kind of history in that tape there, enough yeah. One of the only tapes around it's a uh, you find it hard to get one of these, yeah. Mm, so, yeah, so yeah, so there the <coughs> that's them, they're the ones, they're the top 12 cassettes. So that's me, Colin Cronin, signing off. That's some of our favourite cassettes that we have. Um, top 12 favourite cassettes that we have on the wall. And put a comment down in the comment box. Drop your ideas of an album or a live album or a compilation album or greatest hits album that we could do. Like these guys are... Or these guys are an album that we could pick up and I'm sure we will. We'll get back to you and you get back to us. Cheers. Thanks a million. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe. And as mentioned, comment below. I can go off my cigarette and enjoy my coffee.